Hello from the studios at Pascual Bravo University. One of the most common elements that all large metropolitan areas share worldwide is a city zoo. Consistently rated as the best zoo in the world is the privately run zoo in San Diego, California. The San Diego Zoo is located in a 100-acre section of Balboa Park and houses more than 3,500 animals and more than 650 species and subspecies. It is one of the few zoos in the world that houses and successfully bred the giant panda. The San Diego Zoo was a pioneer in the concept of open-air, cageless exhibits that recreate natural animal habitats. It is called the San Diego Zoo Safari Park and displays animals in a more expansive, open setting than at a traditional zoo. The zoo offers a guided tour bus that traverses 75% of the park. There is also an overhead gondola lift called the Sky Ferry, providing an aerial view of the zoo. Exhibits at the zoo are designed around a particular habitat. For example, there is an exhibit depicting an African rainforest featuring gorillas. There is also an Arctic tundra exhibit featuring polar bears. Some of the largest free flight aviaries in existence are here. There are over 25 different environments recreated from around the world to showcase the diverse animal population on planet Earth. The temperate, sunny, maritime climate of California is well suited to many plants and animals. Besides an extensive collection of birds, reptiles, and mammals, it also maintains its grounds as an arboretum with a rare plant collection. The botanical collection includes more than 700,000 exotic plants. As part of its gardening effort, some rare animal foods are grown at the zoo. For example, 40 varieties of bamboo were raised for the pandas. It also maintains 18 varieties of eucalyptus trees to feed its koalas. The San Diego Zoo Institute for Conservation Research is the largest zoo-based multidisciplinary research effort in the world with more than 200 dedicated scientists carrying out research vital to the conservation of animals, plants, and habitats locally and internationally. As a result, they have reintroduced more than 30 endangered species back into the wild and have conserved habitat at 50 different field sites. I am Gary Vernier, and this has been a Pascual Bravo English documentary. Until next time, good luck with English.